Hey guys, what's up? It's Yami and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Eden. So, you may be wondering why the animal shelter looks a little bit different behind me and I'm going to explain it to you. So, upon logging into my computer, I noticed that my Minecraft file had gone. I don't know any other way to put it, but it had gone and the only backup of Minecraft Eden that I had is from the 26th of June 2014, which was a long, long time ago. <laughs> so what I've done is I've gone and rebuilt the animal shelter as best as I could. I've even added some things and made it look a little bit better than it was. This is a reception. I got a fancy rug going on, a computer, a Rubik's Cube. Come on. Awesome. Awesome. So yes, I have a computer with mine bay on it. I mean, what else would you want? I got my fish bowl back with a different fish. There's no bed here, unfortunately. And I tried to build all the rooms as I had them before, even though some of them are slightly different. This one is a lot bigger. I think it looks better, you know? I think if I was a member of staff, I would love to work here. It's just so cozy and comfy, don't you think? Nope. Okay, I added a little cup of tea there, I just thought that was a nice touch. But it means all the smoothies and stuff have gone, so we're probably going to have to make some more of those. In my manager's office, I added some awesome things like these tool racks and these shelves up here, but apart from that, it's basically the same. And the dog room has totally changed. I've got all the dogs back, I added them all back in. Here we go, all of the dogs that I had, except Ariel is just like chilling in there. She decided to follow me, so I had to start to sit down. I have all the cats back as well. So here they all are, and well actually there was none in there. <laughs> this side, Eddie and Sugar, we only actually got two, so. Yeah, these are the cats, and every one of the bunnies are back. They may have changed color though, because I just spawned a load in and renamed them all some reason there's ice in there, I don't know. But I managed to plant my carrots and put my tree in. You know, I actually think this animal shelter is a new and improved version of the last one. It's just, it looks cooler and there's more room to do stuff. Look at this, the corridor isn't ridiculously thin. So this is obviously the outside of it and we're gonna extend it onwards and outwards because I still have a lot of rooms to build. I have a vet room where we do the checkups on the animals and a lot of stuff like that so I think we should potentially get started on that today. I just need to make this a lot bigger. It should be a great project once it's finished but right now I've been going through a hell of a hard time trying to get it back to how it was but yeah it's it's getting there, it's getting back to what it used to be. I do think it does look better in some respects but I honestly just wish it never happened because it did take a lot of time and productivity away from my channel because I had to rebuild all this and also because of it I'm going to show you because the backup is from like five months ago it means that my ban doesn't exist yet. Yeah, it doesn't exist yet. What I did though is I built my garden back and the picnic area because they are kind of places that I needed. So yeah, I still have Snow White in here. She should be in the barn that was there, but it's not there anymore. And in here we have our donkey. Hello there, Candy. So yeah, basically Minecraft Eden derped out. It broke a little bit and so we're back to five months ago. Just imagine that all those episodes kinda didn't happen and we are now in some sort of weird time vortex and your life is a mystery. Okay, I'm gonna show you another thing that happened. Obviously, from five months ago, I didn't have my wyvern lair, so I had to rebuild that as well. Oh my god, it was a pain in the butt. So, beware of the wyverns, and we come in here, and all my wyverns are in here, look at them, and all the snakes are back. So yeah, everything is kind of back to how it was in a weird sense, but I had to rebuild everything, which wasn't so fun. But yeah, it's kind of back to how it was, and it's kind of not. I did try my hardest. So let's go back to building our vetting room. I don't know if you call it a vetting room. What would you call it? I don't know. But first of all, we need to build a corridor because we need to extend this place out a little bit. So maybe if we just make this corridor here, make it a bit wider. 
Then I have to extend it all the way in the water, which I don't mind. I really don't like the water. It's a pain in the butt for traveling across. So this is our corridor and rooms can split off different ways from here. Thinking about having a room splitting off this way, for instance, and then a room could split off that way. Oh, it's just gonna look so much better once it's done. But we need to get started and we need to get started quickly. So I'm gonna start this off with a vetting room this way. And it needs to be too wide. Oh gosh, right. I'm gonna have to make a crafting table because currently I don't have one. And I'm gonna make a door. So here we go, let's make two doors for our new room that doesn't exist yet, but it shall, it shall exist. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna be the vetting room and we're gonna have all sorts of awesome stuff in here like a table and I'm really gonna have to quickly Google what is actually inside a operating room. Yep. <laughs> so I shall be back once the room has been a little bit built and then we shall do the recipes for stuff together and it will be awesome. Okay guys, so I'm back with the vetting operation room and it's very dark because I haven't added the windows in yet so let's go and do that now. What I need to do is, first of all, I need to make myself a... Oh, I actually have an axe, so that's good. And I already have some glass panes as well. Oh, awesome. Okay, this is gonna be a lot easier than I thought it would. So let's add some windows in here. I really don't know how many windows to add because you don't really want people looking in when you're operating on an animal. So I've added in the windows and I need to add in some torches. Doesn't look like I have any. So let's go and find some coal. I should have some in my stuff room. Okay, so there should be some in here. Oh yeah, eight coal. That's not really gonna make us enough torches, but I guess it will do for now. So let's put the coal with our sticks and we can get some torches. Oh, that'll be plenty. We'll be fine with that. So let's add some torches on the outside and on the inside too. We don't want any nasty mobs spawning in here. This is like one of our most important rooms. Our animals' lives depend on it. So I noticed in a room like that, there's a lot of tables and they're mostly metal tables. So I don't know if there is a metal table or an iron table. We'll have to see if we type in table, what comes up? Okay, stone table or a coffee table and there's captain table. Okay, we can try and make a cobblestone table. I'd like to see what they look like. Cause maybe that would look a little bit like metal. Nope, it looks like cobblestone. Okay, let's try a... How did we make that other table? The glass coffee table? Iron and glass panes. So if we make two of those... Okay, so if we make two of those... They are the closest we're gonna get to like an operating table. Okay, fair enough. Right, the next thing we need to make is a fence. So let's get some sticks. And we can do that. You'll see why in a minute. I'm gonna try and make this look as close as I can get it to the real thing. I also need to make a sort of lamp or something. Okay. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to move these tables. I need a lamp or something to put on there. Maybe a light bulb if I can get one. Light. Okay. Two pieces of wool, a light bulb and string. Good job I have all those things at our house. Okay, what's in this chest? Wool and we'll take the sticks. So we have the wool, we need some string and I don't think I've got a button for this place which is slightly awkward. Okay, because it reset back to five months ago, I don't have my chest room sorted out yet, so I just have these bad boys. Here I have some string, I just need one piece of that. And I need some glass panes, so I'll take the glass. And we should be sorted. So let's go downstairs and we can craft all this stuff. Okay, so I need myself a light bulb, which is some panes of glass. I forgot how to make panes of glass. Oh, that was easy. 
Right, a light bulb is like this, with a torch in the middle. I need two pieces of wool. I don't know where that goes. Is it like this? And a piece of string. Yay, a light! So let's go take this back to our animal shelter. Okay, so I'm hoping this will work. Let's try it out. Oh my god, it does, but I definitely think I need it to be... Oh, maybe that will do. Okay, do you see where I'm going with this? It's meant to be like the operating table with the light above it, but because the roof is kind of shot, if I made it any higher, it would look silly. Let's try it out. <laughs> okay, does this look any better? Oh, it does actually. It looks a lot better. So I'm just going to put that piece of wood there for now. I guess it looks like an operating table. You can't be mad at that. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so I'm guessing that they have like computers and stuff inside of a vet's room. Let's have a look at how we do that. Blocks of iron, glass pane and redstone. I actually have all of that stuff on me. I think I need redstone and a glass pane and we should have a computer. Okay, I want to make some of these stone tables again. So just using my cobblestone like that and I can put the computer in the corner here. Like so. What else would there be in this room? Okay, so there would be cabinets in here. Let's have a look at how we make those cabinets. Oh, a chest and it's surrounded by wood. That's super easy to do. Let's do that now. Chest and it's surrounded by wood. Should make a cabinet. And these rooms are not very cluttered because obviously they need to get in here to do work. So if they're banging around on stuff all the time, it wouldn't really work. This should be on its way to being finished. I think there's just another couple of items to add in here. I think one of the things that should be added in here is a tissue box. So if we have a look at how we do that. Here we go. Oh, wood and paper. That is super simple to do. So wood and then one piece of paper. Good job I have three. Makes a tissue box. And we can put this tissue box right on top of this cabinet. Oh my gosh. I broke the window, boys. But let's just pretend that didn't happen. There we go. I fixed it. Okay, so I think we need to add some more cabinets in here. That would make sense. Let's do that now. There we go. Three cabinets. And we'll just put these up in random places. Because as a vet, you need to be able to access your equipment and stuff very easily. So there we go, we've got some stuff up there. Also, let's make some shelves out of slabs. That could be a great idea. And we could put things on there like flower pots or whatever really. What else should we add? Okay, so in one of the pictures I saw, they had a TV on the wall, which I don't know how accurate that would be, but we should totally make one just for the sake of it. Okay, so the stuff I need for the TV is at home. Let's go there really quickly because the bad mobs are coming out and that's spooky. Let's have a look in this chest again. See if there's anything we need. No, there's not. So let's run in here, take the door down again. So I need a piece of redstone and I need some logs there outside and the glass pane. And I think that's it. So I'm set and ready to go if we just run downstairs and go to the chest outside. Okay, so there's some oak wood logs in here, which is great, because that's what I need. Let's run all the way back to our vet operation room, and we can make our TV and stick that on the wall, and then I think that's it for today. Right, so if I remember correctly, it was kind of like this. Probably not like that. Maybe it was. Okay, I'm so bad if I don't look at recipes. Like this. Yes, actually, I take that back. I'm quite good. So where would I put this if I was a vet? I want to move that cabinet. Okay, I'm going to put the TV on there. And I'm going to put the cabinet somewhere else. I'm going to put the cabinet down here. Like that. Awesome. I like it. So guys, I didn't really know what to do with this room. I have never actually been in a vet operating theatre. I don't think many people have, to be honest, but I did try my hardest. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Minecraft Eden. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! What is this?
a Tribble from Star Trek. Now I have no idea what a Tribble is and I've never watched Star Trek. It says, this Tribble was bred exclusively for Loot Crate. Its colour and package are unique and only available to looters. It is just like a furry ball. <laughs> so, I don't know how to explain it. It's a furry ball guys. <laughs> Yay! Who doesn't like furry balls? Yeah. <laughs> 